He's got a real hard read on that now. Oh! Oh! Now, I know what you're thinking, as Vesper being replaced, who is this guy? Are those fishes in the background? Yes. I'm Mir, in case you don't know me. And I've been working with the channel for quite a while, actually. I've been releasing combo guides, and I've been featured on some videos that uh, we've recorded with Vesper in the past, talking about a variety of topics. As you may know, Vesper is doing his own series of videos on mechanics you'd like to see back in Street Fighter 6, and I'd like to add my two cents to the discussion, in this case with something that I might not want to see back in Street Fighter 6. As you may know, people get really excited over hard execution in games, and um, it's often seen as an opportunity for players to express themselves. But when it comes to actually playing the game, it gets in the way. So why is it looked at so fondly? I would like to take the case study of difficult execution in recent past games, so we would have to talk about the case of one frame links in Street Fighter 4. This has been a huge point of contention in the past, especially after Street Fighter 5 came out. To explain it briefly for people that might not know, fighting games run at 60 frames per second usually. One frame thus is the shortest unit of time in the game, and that's how you conduct measurements. Street Fighter combos are based on a concept that is called linking. The idea is that an attack will give you a certain amount of time to uh, connect another hit afterwards. A very simple example is when you land a jump in on someone, they're stunned for a small period and that leaves you enough time to connect on a normal and that leads to a combo. That's, that's just what uh, linking is. And many uh, grounded combos that require multiple normals use this, uh, this concept. Now, sometimes these links can be very strict. If you're used to Street Fighter V, you might find this surprising, but that's because Street Fighter V has an input buffer system that lets you buffer your inputs and thus gives you extra time to land these combos. But in Street Fighter IV, there was no such input buffer system. And because of this, it created what we now call one frame links, which is basically the strictest kind of link, giving you the minimum amount of time to perform it. Getting the timing done consistently for one with print links is, is difficult to imagine. It's honestly very, very hard, which might surprise you because Street Fighter 4 has a lot of very difficult one frame links that lead to exceptionally optimal combo routes. So how is this possible? This brings me to explain a quirk or a glitch of the Street Fighter engine. It's called priority linking or plinking for short, and you might have heard of it before. In fact, it's still present in Street Fighter 5, although it's not as useful. Uh, the idea is to abuse the priority system that is built into the game, the one where if you hit two normals that are of different strengths, the one that's higher strength will come out. Uh, you will abuse the system to duplicate two inputs one frame apart. This requires some finesse, and it's easier to do on stick than pad, but it is possible in both. But basically what this does is that it gives you double the chance to hit a one frame link. It effectively turns it into a two frame link. So what ended up happening, as I was saying, since the game is full of one frame links, is that everyone played. Everyone plinked, and it was much more reasonable to do it that way because two frame links are, well, twice as easy as a one frame link, and um, that's more reasonable to practice. They're still hard, it's still possible to drop them. A lot of people that, you know, these days that have played uh, modern fighting games might not realize how difficult they are, but they do require some practice. Another result of this system is that because of how the priority system works, it is impossible to do it with light punch because Light Punch is lowest on the priority list. But people figured out that if you pressed Select and Light Punch with the planking method one frame apart, you were still able to duplicate the Light Punch input. This was called Select Linking or Select Planking or Slinking for short. Because of this extra quirk, uh, some people tried it to implement in their game so that they could hit the hardest combos. And um, a very famous case is uh, Arthritis popularizer and uh, execution enthusiast Sakonoko, who 
showed up to a tournament with a stick that was decked out with a bunch of extra buttons on the face just so that you could select Plink in the most efficient way. And something like that, I don't need to tell you, wouldn't fly these days. If you guys remember the case of Daigo and his hitbox with the extra buttons, that created a whole uh, problem in the community. So I think it was probably just a different time where uh, people looked at these figures, you know, these pro players being so good at execution is kind of like as a mystical thing and they just let it slide. Now that you know the backstory, let's dissect the situation. So are one frame links too much as far as execution goes in a fighting game? There seems to be a fair amount of people that want them back as they're perceived as a demonstration of skill, separating the good player from the truly great player. The ability to hit one frame links consistently, or even two frame links as I've discussed before, is something that not a lot of normal players could do. It required a great deal of practice, and even then it has a good chance to drop. So this made it so that certain combos were only available to those people that invested a lot of time practicing the character, basically rewarding specialists. Some people also say that one frame links are exciting because they are aware of the difficulty of the execution and um, as such they find it interesting to watch. Although I would argue that it's more of the case of one frame links that could lead to possibly very long combos as opposed to the one frame link itself. Because I, honestly I don't think anyone would find it exciting if someone did standing light kick into standing light punch and as it turns out it's just a one frame link, no one would really notice or care. So it's mostly for long combos really. Although Having some level of executions in a fighting game is important for a variety of reasons, which, to be honest, it's <laughs> a subject for a totally different video. Uh, I would argue that difficult links are not the way to go when it comes to execution. And it's mostly because, for one, the reason why they were viable in the first place is because of planking, so because of a quirk of the engine. Imagine if Street Fighter VI came out and it didn't have this quirk, uh, then one frame links would be so hard to land that it would be basically impossible or unreasonable rather to practice them. Secondly, there's a lot of links that exist that don't feel particularly rewarding as I uh, mentioned a few uh, moments ago, but they are optimal. I can bring multiple examples from Street Fighter 4. You have characters like Bison or Zangief that do repeated crushing light kicks into a special, right? Like crushing light kick, crushing light kick, crushing light kick, scissor kicks. Or crushing like a crushing like a crushing like a green hand. Those, if I remember correctly, they're two frame links. But to be honest, to watch them and to perform it wasn't very exciting at all. It's just a thing that you have to do, more like a chore. Other great examples would be uh, Gal's main BMB, which was crushing light punch, crushing light punch, crushing medium punch, flash kick. For almost the entirety of the lifespan of the game, it was a one frame link. It was actually turned into a two frame link only as of Ultra Street Fighter 4, but you plinked it anyway, so it was still a two-frame link. The alternative being just doing Crouching Light Punch three times into Flash Kick, and you have to make sure to link the last Light Punch because you couldn't cancel Chains. Never mind, Street Fighter 4 is weird. It's not very different at all. It was the optimal thing to do, but it's not an exciting link. It was just something you had to do if you wanted to be optimal. Third, this created some situations where doing the one-frame link was the only way to combo out of certain situations. So you either just landed a hit, and then you had, say, for example, a plus three situation where you could link your light punch only. You either landed the hit or were unable to do the link, so it just ended with a single hit, you had a single hit combo, or you could land the same light punch, and then because of how the Street Fighter 4 system worked, you could have done a bunch of other normals or FADC, supers, ultra, what have you. So you would have a situation where you don't land the difficult link and you get no damage, or you land a difficult link and you get all the damage, and this is true also for punish situations. Sometimes you would block a move that is, for example, minus four. So you might get no punish or a full on punish that it would do a million damage. So it was a very polarizing system. Fourth, because of the existence of these links, uh, frame data was kind of designed around it. This created the need for some odd frame data, like for example, some mediums and heavies were three or four frames because they needed to be fast to be used in links, not unreasonably, like three or four frame links. But what this created is combos that uh, were one frame links that would lead, say, lights into heavies that were sadly optimal, so you had to learn them. Luckily, Street Fighter 4 didn't have a priority system when it comes to normals trading like Street Fighter 5 does, 
But it still created a lot of odd situations in frame traps where they would have extremely fast buttons with huge rewards because they were heavies that you had to, to deal with on the defense. On top of that, some pokes even were designed to be exceptionally fast because they, they needed to be used in combos. A great example would be Ken's Crutchy Medium Kick being only 4 frames. This is compared to Street Fighter V where even the faster Crutchy Medium Kicks are only uh, 6 frames fast. And um, to be honest, they don't even reach as far as they did in Street Fighter IV. Street Fighter V in comparison solved this in a much neater way just by implementing a buffer system for normals. Street Fighter V as opposed to Street Fighter IV adds this on top of the buffer for throws and specials. But like I said, because there was no input buffer system for normals in Street Fighter IV, that's what caused the problem in the first place. Uh, this allows for combos to be performed much more easily by anyone. It's a pretty big buffer, I'm still unsure how much it is. Some people say 3 frames, some people say 5 frames, 6 frames, it, it seems about 5 frames, but it's, it's quite big. So um, in Street Fighter V basically you have situations where on paper it would be a 1 frame link, but it's effectively turned into a 5 or 6 frame link because of the input buffer system, so it's very easy to land. So as a consequence of this, uh, frame advantage was tuned overall and uh, reduced in general. A lot of mediums and heavies became slower. This does admittedly mean that the combo potential is limited because you don't have as many routes as you would have had in Street Fighter 4, but it also means that you cannot combo lights into heavies and other crazy things like that, so it depends who you ask if it's a positive or not. It also removes the need to make pokes or sending heavy buttons very fast to make them combo, as I was mentioning before, because now the execution requirement is no longer a factor, so you don't have to design it around the fact that links are very difficult. In punish situations, it makes it much more consistent, so you have a move that is punishable, you know that you can punish it effectively as long as you're in range in Street Fighter V, and this made it so that some moves that were originally designed with the idea of being very difficult to punish based on the timing, that were moved into minus two territory, where you lose your turn, but they're effectively safe against most retaliation. Although I admit it does remove some variety, I think it's a necessary change, because obviously otherwise everyone would be able to punish these moves very easily, as I just mentioned. A lot of people would argue that this makes the game less interesting, but I think easier links are a net positive for many reasons. It makes the game easier to come back to, because it requires less practice to perform links correctly. You don't have to practice blinking on top of that, that's a big advantage as well. You are able to pick multiple characters much more easily, as you don't have to spend time uh, practicing links for every single one of them. Everyone now has an easier time achieving the most optimal combo routes, which for some people I guess it might be seen as a negative because they, they liked being the only ones able to uh, achieve certain combos, you know, being able to perform them. But in general it means that the execution is lower on your mental stack. So what that means is that you can spend more time actually playing the game, interacting with your opponent, rather than having to focus on doing um, some very basic combos, which is honestly like a one-player game at that point. And um, I personally think it's more interesting this way. Now, this leads us to the conclusions. As you probably can guess, I'm really happy that we moved away from very difficult links like we had in Street Fighter 4 to the system that we have in Street Fighter 5. I think that overall for how Street Fighter is built, uh, the very difficult links don't really achieve anything important as far as excitement is concerned. Sure, you can have very long combos that can be very difficult, and you can still have it in a system like Street Fighter V. There's plenty of interesting execution that doesn't have to be difficult links. Like, for example, you have characters like Luke, where um, the execution comes from the fact that you have a move that you have to charge a specific amount in a combo, and that can be easily dropped if you're not good at it. Or in cases like Minot's V Trigger 1, which everyone mentions, where you have a different kind of execution by using negative edge to use the orbs to extend the combo. A Sonic Boom loops for Gal, for example, is just the length of the combo that makes it difficult. And um, other things like that. There's plenty of ways of making execution interesting without really having to rely on one frame links. And this is another topic for another video too, how to make execution interesting. That's another kind of worms. But basically, my point is, I don't want to break my fingers practicing every day uh, just to play the game. That's one huge advantage that I think Street Fighter V has. It's a much more pleasant game to play just because it doesn't feel like a job. 
to actually land the combos that I need to perform at a basic level with a character. And so you guys let me know what you think in the comments. I know that this, like I said, is a very contentious topic and I'm sure that I ruffled some feathers here and there just by mentioning a bunch of things that I said. I'd like to really know what you guys think in, uh, in the comments below because Street Fighter 6 is a game that is basically an unknown for us. So we could easily have something that is very easy, like even easier than Street Fighter 5, or they might go back to something that is more challenging as far as execution goes, like Street Fighter 4. So um, what would you guys like to see? And what would you guys like to see return or any new mechanics as far as execution is concerned that you'd like to, that you'd be interested in? So, like I said, let me know in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. Um, we are trying to release them very often now, especially because obviously of the Street Fighter 6 news. Uh, so make sure to click the bell as well, so you, you'll be notified when they come out. And um, I'll see you next time. Uh, Street Fighter 4 had an input buffer for throws and specials, but like I said, 